My name is Eva Lynch. I am an artist and educator with a background in silversmithing and jewellery. My studio is based in County Wicklow and I teach in Grenham Mill Craft School in County Kilkenny. I'm interested in traditional ancient smithing techniques and I've spent the last couple of years exploring the hammer techniques used to develop an Iron Age ribbon torque in antiquity. And my new sculptural pieces explore and archive these ancient endangered skills. I developed Anthropoware 4 for the exhibition Collectibles and Curiosities. As the name suggests, this is the fourth in a series of functional pieces that were made with the purpose of engaging the hands in mindful activity. There are 10 times as many channels of information feeding back from the hands to the head as there are from the head to the hands. With the age of convenience and technological advancements, the work of the hands is becoming increasingly redundant and we're losing the connection and purpose that comes from using our hands. So these works are kinetic handheld sculptures of about a foot tall and Anthropoware 4 has a bearing mechanism inside allowing it to be spun. The concept being to metaphorically transfer the state of flow and well-being that I experience whilst forging these works back to the user. I believe that a reconnection to nature is vital for our survival as a species and by nature I mean our inherent human nature as well as the natural environment. And by using our hands we maintain this hand-heart connection. Anthropoware are functional objects that probe the human relationship with material things. As our patterns of consumption and disposal of material things wreak havoc on the environment, the objects that we use and as artists that we create carry a personal moral responsibility. I coined the term anthropoware as a play on the word hollowware which traditionally were items like decorative tableware, candlesticks, vessels, items that although often functional are essentially uh, luxury objects. Our connection to luxury goods has destabilised the planet and our consumption is literally visible in the Earth's geological strata, leading to scientists deciding that we've left the Holocene era, the era that began more than 11,000 years ago after the last glacial event, and we've entered the Anthropocene, an epoch defined by man's imprint on the planet. In my opinion, the function of the objects of the Anthropocene must extend beyond simply the aesthetic, or at the very least, the materials and methods used must be chosen in consideration of their impact on the natural world. And I've really begun to think about both the function of my works and the impact that their development has on the natural world. Anthropoware 4 is made from copper reclaimed from a roof, scrapped brass and ethically sourced deer antlers. I chose antler for these works because as well as being a renewable natural material, it's believed that antlers were the tools used to create objects such as the Iron Age ribbon torque before we had metal tools. So as well as archiving these ancient hand skills, these pieces also archive the material of the tools that probably developed these techniques. Antler is a really lovely material to work with. I've enjoyed carving and cutting and experimenting with it. However, if you have dogs who like to come into your studio, as I do, you have to be really careful because they love to chew antler bones. So I have my Whippet Luna to thank for the final aesthetic of Antropoware 4, as she slyly managed to make off with a bunch of carvings that I had ready for the piece. And I had to redo some new pieces based on the antler slices that were left. So all dogs are banished from the studio from now on when there's antler involved. This is a poem I wrote about my practice. I make things in metal. I make spoons, I make jewellery, I make vessels. I make precious objects and objects precious. Making things makes me want to make more things. I make tools to make more things. My hands remember the hands of my father. To make requires the thoughts that arrive from not thinking. I think about how I'm going to make thoughts metal. My hands remember the hands of my teachers. I make from the earth. I think about how I can make things that make more time. My hands remember the hands of the ancient smith. <laughs>